Isotope RX Elements version 7 is quite possibly one of the more useful tools you can incorporate into your production workflow. It also happens to be the cheapest of all the versions offered and contains most of the audio tools one would need to fix a wide range of everyday audio problems. This version will help you repair four of those most common problems found when dealing with dialogue and musical recordings. With the D-Click tool, one can remove noises such as clicks, pops, and other noises commonly found in vocal or musical recording. The D-Clip tool fixes clipping audio that may slightly be distorted and falls outside of the normal range by helping to bring the waveform back within acceptable levels. With the D-Hum tool, you can remove any source of interference from your recording. This is useful for dealing with amplifier hum or even microphone interference. Voice Denoise removes unwanted background noise in your recordings and will be one of the tools most users will reach for first. There is a repair assistant which identifies and attempts to remove all of these problems and does a relatively decent job in the process. Once it is done with the analysis, the program offers three options for repairing the problems it found. It selects a sample from the recording and allows you to compare those options before applying any of them. Isotope also allows you to arm a track for recording and record a live piece of audio right there on the spot. If you press the input monitoring button, you can also listen to the audio in real time. This is an extremely useful feature if you have headphones that cancel all outside noise, but you need to listen for disturbances such as car horns, door slams, or anything that may otherwise ruin your recording. Once you are done recording, Isotope will present you with a waveform of what you just recorded, and you can get to work repairing it right away. When playing back any piece of audio, the user can view the waveform information using the Spectrum Analyzer and Waveform Stats window. The Spectrum Analyzer shows a visual representation of the frequency spectrum in real time, while the Waveform Stats show all the stats of the current waveform collectively. Let's now go ahead and fix a real-world problem by cleaning up a piece of audio I recorded. When the audio is imported, it is immediately noticeable that the volume of the recording is rather low. We reach for a normalization tool and set it to negative 6 decibels to bring it to a pleasantly audible state. Playing back the audio now, we can immediately hear the amplified noise in the background and also visually see it on the waveform in the head and tail end of the recording. Here, take a listen. We can either run the denoise tool in adaptive mode or select the learn option. In adaptive mode, Isotope analyzes the waveform for noise and applies the necessary adjustments on the fly. For the learn option to be effective, we have to select an at least one second segment of the noise and instruct the program to learn or sample what we selected. In this example, Isotope should do a relatively good job, so we leave the adaptive setting on and ask it to do its magic. If at any time we are unhappy with any of the changes, clicking the previous step in the history window will undo that change. We can even go back to the initial recording state of the waveform. Listen to how different the audio sounded before we applied the denoise tool, and listen to what it sounds like now. I am now in a small room. The computer to the right of me has several large fans, all of which are relatively noisy. I am now in a small room. The computer to the right of me has several large fans, all of which are relatively noisy. Now that the room noise is dealt with, we can see if there are any clicks in the recording. We bring up the D-click tool and slightly adjust the sensitivity slider. In our preview, we select to hear the clicks only, and when Isotope is done, it will present us with a tally of everything it found. Before processing, we uncheck the Output Only box and hit the Render button. Problem solved. We have a much better sounding audio than before. Have a listen. I am now in a small room. The computer to the right of me has several large fans, all of which are relatively noisy. To my left is a large window overlooking a very busy street with a lot of traffic. In short, there's a lot of unwanted noise in this room. This now concludes the audio test. Once all changes are satisfactory, we may now export to one of the four formats Isotope offers us. For this demo, we will leave the default setting selected, process the waveform, and let Isotope handle the rest. Job well done. In conclusion, there are many tools out there to help with your post-production audio, but very few come close to producing results with such ease. Isotope RX Elements stands alone 
and should come as no surprise to anyone as to why it is such a beloved tool for production professionals the world over. This is a program we have no problem recommending. If you like this review, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay tuned for more.